question over whether the Obama administration spied on the Trump campaign remains unanswered. Two days ago, House Intel Chair Devin Nunez said there was strong evidence of surveillance. Now he says he's unsure, partly because the FBI is not releasing relevant documents for some reason. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer had this to say about it today. Well, I think that there has been an acknowledgment that, um, that there are documents out there showing that people were surveilled or monitored to some degree. They could have exclusively been foreigners, Devin Nunes concedes. I, okay, well, I, Devin Nunes also made it clear that he's going to have a hearing uh, later next week with several members uh, of the intelligence community and calling them others back. And so let's, let's wait. And, well, and see what, what is the president vindicated by? The, the, the president said he felt somewhat vindicated because I think that there is an acknowledgement that he's that as we pr proceed down this discussion, it continues to show that there was something there. Richard Goodstein is a Democratic strategist. He's been in Washington a long time and he knows how government works. He joins us live tonight. For better or worse. For better or worse. In this case, perhaps worse, Richard. I think that people are missing the big story here, both sides. So Democrats are going on about Vladimir Putin, the puppet master. Republicans are talking a lot about leaks. Both may be missing the actual scandal, which is the political use of classified intelligence to hurt people. And you're seeing it happen. You've seen it happen here before. Explain to me, as someone who's watched government a long time, why Democrats and Republicans on the Oversight Committee cannot get relevant documents from the FBI, which they're supposed to be overseeing. What's the possible explanation for that? Uh, I, you know, you'll have to ask them. I don't really know what the security clearances are. One can't help but be struck, however. Let's look at the Comey hearing, if we can, for a second. Um, you know, I was politically active during Watergate. And if Watergate happened today, Howard Baker, who said, what did the president know and when did he know it, if he was Devin Nunes, Howard Baker would be huddling with Richard Nixon behind Sam Irvin's back. And instead of asking Haldeman and Ehrlichman and Mitchell, you know, what did the president know, he'd be like, who was, who was deep throat? Right? That's, and, and I think that's perverted. It, we're, we're really not looking to get to the bottom of what happened here. No, I think what you're missing is that the real scandal is not what those who are elected do, because we can throw them out of office. We have control over their careers. Mm -hmm. It's what people who are unelected and who retain massive amounts of power do to influence the course of government behind a screen we can't see beyond. That is to say the permanent government. I'm not a conspiracy nut, but I'm watching this and I'm asking myself, is it really crazy to think that the Obama administration, agencies overseen by the Obama White House, were spying on the Trump campaign? Apparently they were. So why is that not something I should worry about? And by the way, it could be the Hillary campaign. I don't care. Yeah. You shouldn't be spying on your political opponents. I'm not quite sure when you say apparently. Is this apparently with that whole litany of things that Sean Spicer cited that was frankly a bit addled, that were all these news... No, I'm saying when the director of the FBI, James Comey, says that in congressional testimony under oath, yes, they were the subject of an investigation during the campaign. You know, he, he, what he said, I think, was that people in the Trump campaign got caught up in in the investigation and let's no, let's have said that they were the subject of okay, the investigation. So let's imagine that Paul Manafort, who we know is paid ten million dollars a year or so by Trump compatriot by Putin compatriots, that somehow or other he crossed the line in that connection. I mean look, we know that the WikiLeaks uh, you know, came out an hour after Access Hollywood, right? right? Do we think that was just random? Do we think that was just dumb luck? Or do we think when Roger Stone said it's Podesta's time in the barrel, that was just a kind of coincidence? Look, so you're not going to get me to say the Russian government wishes us well or they're not causing mischief. They have for almost 100 years against our government, of course. But let's not forget that we're not talking about the Russian government, the foreign government, we're talking about our own government authorizing a spying operation against its political opponents. That was at the very heart of the allegations no, of Watergate. I, yes, it is. Well, we know that that happened. Well, nobody's saying that. No, Comey is saying, first of all, there's, it doesn't trace a wit to Barack Obama. I mean, I, I do hear you, Tucker, and I think you know better, defending Donald Trump's untethered from reality not, not, tweet. Only, not only have I not defended it, as I put out night after night, I questioned directly about it, and I don't think that he should have uh, written that to tweet. your credit. I've just been here long enough to know that it's a plausible claim, wiretapping, whatever. Yeah. It's a plausible claim that Trump and his associates were under surveillance by agencies overseen by the Obama White House. I believe that is entirely plausible. Do you not think that's plausible? Well, well, when you and say I think it's a big deal. Well, when you say overseen by the, by the Obama White House, let's say... They're like, part of the Obama administration. I, I, that's the executive branch of government. So you could make that charge about the FBI going after Hillary Clinton. Right. 
In the same way. Yes, you could. Exactly. So, and I'm saying that we don't know, you know, what the direct kind of relationship is between the FBI and what they see as their responsibility about disclosing okay. information. They are now entitled to be suspect about sharing things with Donald Trump. But we do know that the intelligence agencies, CIA particularly, are in effect acting like their own government. They're unelected. On February 16, 2017, the Wall Street Journal reported, and no one's refuted it, that the CIA was withholding information for Trump. Their whole job is to give him information, the information he asked for. They're withholding it because they just don't think he should have it. Does that bother you? Well, if you were the subject, you know, if you had information and you were an investigator or you were at a government intelligence agency and the person you were responsible to give information to, you thought was actually going to mishandle it. I'm just saying, I, I understand. It's not your job to make that judgment. Well, so, I don't know. If you think national security is at stake, if you think then you resign because we have civilian control of the intelligence agencies. If some army colonel decided we should invade Liechtenstein and he felt it was his moral duty, would he be allowed to do that? No, he works for the president. Right. On March 14th, John Brennan assured Congress the CIA did not hack into the Senate Intelligence Committee's computers. Turns out, we learned July 31st of the same year, he was lying. They actually broke in to the Senate Intel Committee computers because they didn't like what the Senate Intel Committee was doing. Right. Are you bothered by that? I, I, I'm bothered by leaks. I'm bothered. That's not a leak. No, I'm That's saying, espionage I'm, I'm, against elected officials. I, I'm bothered by intelligence agencies misusing their authority, of course. I am bothered profoundly by the misdirection of looking at leaks and what the intelligence uh, agencies may or may not be doing correctly when the story is, again, possibly collusion between Trump associates and Russia, the equivalent of having Russia bomb, bomb, bomb the Clinton headquarters every day. But it wasn't kinetic. It's, it was technological. Look, that's a, that's a grotesque overstatement, but I'm going to let it go by because, right. look, we're talking about a political game. I'm not defending that. I'm merely saying here you have the most powerful and well-funded government in the history of the world. And its most secretive elements may be using that information for political reasons. In March of 2013, James Clapper went before the Congress and said, we're not collecting information wholesale on Americans. He lied. Nobody seemed to care. And I'm saying, Doesn't that bother you? You say they use it for political reasons. It's, they, they didn't do a very good job considering they went public with the investigation of Hillary. They did not disclose this about Trump. And had they, one could argue that would have been the equivalent of the Comey letter as regards Trump and made the difference in terms of the campaign. Well, I, we'd be arguing the same thing. I, I thought that Comey's announcement that Hillary was under investigation without specifying what she was being investigated for right. was appalling. Absolutely. And he ought to be fired for that. I, I thought I that at the time, and I more. think it now. I, I, but I, you guys are making this purely partisan when there's something much more important at stake, which is the integrity of our government. Well, I, I don't disagree that we need to get to the bottom and get the intelligence agencies not acting like they're their own boss. Oh, gosh. We agree on that. Yeah. That's a good scene. Thank you. Happy to be here.